everyone! Welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you my process for how I paint hair in Paint Toolsai. By the way, thank you so much for 1k subscribers. What the heck? When did that happen? Um, sorry for the long gap that there's been between my videos. Um, I don't want to put any people off. I've had like confidence issues, you know, like thinking my voice is strange. Um, thinking my recordings are clumsy or bad or just, you know, hating my video editing skills in general. Um, I've decided to stop being such a perfectionist because, you know, like, those who enjoy your work, they just want to see anything at all. <laughs> they don't care if you made a few mistakes along the way. You won't get anywhere without practice. Uh, you'll have to forgive me because I'm obviously going to trip up sometimes, but I'm eternally grateful for all of my watchers and fans, so thank you so much. Um, so with that out of the way, uh, on to the tutorial. So here we have our lovely lady. Uh, it's one of my friend's characters named Malia. I removed her bare ears because I thought that would be a little confusing for this tutorial, and this would be a little simpler to watch. The first thing I do is I pick the color the hair is going to be. In this case, it's going to be brown. I choose a darker version of the color, really dark. I go from dark to light. Because I will be making the hair brown, I choose a dark red as the base color because a variance in the hue adds a more 3D effect to your painting. Block the color in. Yeah, I know I probably do this the hard way and if you know a faster way to block color in, please let me know because this takes forever. Um, so we have a nice dark saturated red blocked in. Now, <laughs> we're going to preserve the opacity of this layer and only paint on the hair layer. No other layers are needed, okay? Now I know that sounds intimidating, like gasp one layer, but don't be scared, it's okay. You'll get used to it, I swear. Um, with the type of brush I use, the colors actually blend the best when they are directly painted on to another color. It just kind of looks uh, weird and separated when it's on a separate layer, so eh, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, you can do what you want, but it's better this way. Um, yeah. So choose the color that will be the main color of the hair, like a nice light brown in this case. And in this case, the color is less saturated and a warmer color, more in the yellows than the base color. I set my brush to 80% density. Now I make long, quick strokes. Um, make sure you're not pressing too hard when you're making your hair strokes, okay? Because if you press too hard, it's not going to have the right pressure sensitivity. It's not going to look like hair. It's just going to look like a bunch of lines. So uh, don't do that. I set my brush to about 80% density. What, did I already say that? Yeah, I probably did. Oof, I'm good at this. Um, draw where you think there are long strands or large strands of hair. Like big chunks. Because your hair... It's like a 3D object. It has shading, it has depth. Um, your hair tends to bunch up into certain little bits. It's not just one hair, like a million little one hairs, because they, uh, they like to be friends and they like to go into little parties. Well, I'm a loser. Okay, so after you've done that, make the brush a little smaller and add some more detail. You don't need to change the color or anything. There. It kind of looks like hair, and we've only used two colors. Now, make the color a bit lighter, but not too much lighter or it's going to look too shiny. I choose an unsaturated yellow. Make the brush even smaller and add detail to the hair. Study your own hair. Look at reference pictures to learn how hair behaves. There are different textures of hair, but this painting technique will work for a majority of them. Just paint with the flow and behavior of the hair. Now, this looks pretty nice pretty hair like huh let's add some depth make a layer above the hair layer and clip it to the hair layer <laughs> set the layer mode to multiply and eye drop the base color of the hair now paint where the shadows the hair shadow is this does not have to be perfect it can be kind of messy and then blend it there my hair looks more 3d for the finishing touches, you can be creative. You can add shine, reflected light of the surroundings, or even stray hairs. For stray hairs, I use the airbrush tool. Anyway, that's my very 
basic technique. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope this video comes in handy. Thank you so much to my patrons who make these videos possible. Big shout out to my patrons Lupin Gray and Luna. Want to vote for future artworks? Want to have your name immortalized in my videos or receive discounts on commissions? Do you want to see my more uh, risque artworks? Be special and receive special treatment in general? Become my patron. Rest assured, my art tutorials and art help will never be behind a pain bleh, pay <laughs> paywall and are free and accessible to the general public. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.